Hey friends, this is The Social Tea and I'm Sharonda Lee. I talk about all things social, including celebrity news, reality shows, what's going on in pop culture, local news, and more here in these YouTube streets. We know folks always get in their feelings about what's said here on social media. So I must say what's stated here is alleged, my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Friends, make sure you visit my website at www.thesocialteatalkmedia.com and also follow me on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, also known as X, and TikTok. Also check out my podcast, The Social Tea Off The Air, on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or Spotify. Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit that notification bell, like, Share this with everyone you know and subscribe. With all that being said, relax, get comfortable, and let's get into the tea. Let's talk about the Married to Medicine uh, reunion for season 10. Mm, You can feel the tension in the room. Um, You could cut that shit with a knife. Real talk. Um, I did like their Napa Valley, you know, theme. I thought it was pretty dope. Um, the outfits, I wasn't feeling any of the outfits. I mean, I felt like they were going to a get together. It wasn't nothing spectacular, um, like normal, like they normally would um dress. It was just it was just all right. Nobody dressed was better than the other one. Nobody hair was better than the other. I mean, their makeup was flawless. But other than that, it was just regular, regular smegular. Um, now, I do want to get in. I'm going to be going all over the place. I'm not really going to stay in line with how the show went. I'm just going off of what I remember and some of the things that I felt about um the show now the whole dr g and phaedra dated situation um it seemed like you know i guess i guess they did date (laughs) phaedra lying if everybody's saying that gregory told him they dated and she doesn't remember i just think she doesn't want to be embarrassed i think she most definitely did date him it probably wasn't anything sexual. They probably didn't get that far. But I do believe after she asked him for that money, he was like, hold up, shorty. <laughs> hold up, bitch. <laughs> I'm not about to pay you to be my girlfriend. And I think after that, they just remained really cool. Um, I, I just feel like this whole situation with Quad is almost like, you know, them um, wanting to humble her. Um, like, like, why all the hate for Quad? Like, like, real talk, like, Quad really just, you know, do her. I mean, yeah, she didn't call y'all, but y'all didn't call her either. So it's like, okay, we don't talk. We stay out of touch. That's cool. There's no beef, but these ladies are making a situation more than what it what it really is um also with the i didn't like how toya was speaking on apollo and phaedra and how he should have been at the party they did a little flashback and talked about how oh uh, she felt like if he's a good father he should have been at the party girl mind your household mind your household because your husband said you hard to please he might be getting tired of you like you need to mind your whole business. Um, I didn't really like that. I just feel like she just stick her her two cents in a situation that doesn't really concern her. But if somebody was to do that to her, she'll she'll be upset. Um. Now with the whole situation, you know, Phaedra kind of came in the show being Quad's friend, and so you know, Quad felt like you know, Phaedra was kind of turning her back on her and most definitely i think you know she she did she did to a certain extent because phaedra didn't really know any of the other ladies 
she knew Quad. She knew Dr. G. You know what I'm saying? That's how, I guess, they were kind of introducing her into the show as being a friend of Quad or whatever, whatever. And they were supposed to be good girlfriends or good acquaintances or, you know, just meet up with each other on social settings. Not like a deep relationship, but she knew, Phaedra knew more of Quad than she did the other ladies. And I guess, you know, I guess Phaedra jumped ship when she's saying that these ladies really wasn't fucking with Quad like that. She jumped ship. I mean, she did. Um, she just left Quad out there on the lifeline by herself. But for the most part, I think these ladies are absolutely jealous of Quad. I think they jealous. They are jealous of her because she is absolutely the breakout star in this show. Um, and the numbers don't lie. Um, I think the the numbers for the episodes that she were that she was on was like over six hundred thousand. And then when she left, they plummeted. So <laughs> numbers don't lie. Quad most definitely is essential to this show, whether they like it or not, whether Toya likes it or not. <laughs> um, so I just think that, you know, that's their biggest problem with her. Um, they just don't want to really be, want her to be the breakout star of the show. But it is what it is. Um, I just, it's a lot with this show. Um, they are mad at quiet, mad at quiet about certain things, but these women pretty much sit around and talk about each other to a certain extent. Um, and, 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 and that's what most reality shows, um, they just sit and talk about each other. Um, now moving on to the situation with Toya and her giving the box wine to their event and not paying a thousand dollars. I thought that was pretty cheap of her. Um, because <laughs> Toya can afford a thousand dollars. As many houses that she just, I mean, I, how many houses have Toya had in the 10 seasons of Married to Medicine? I mean, like they have moved so, they, they have moved so many times. I want to say four. I could be wrong, but they have moved and maybe more. You couldn't give a thousand dollars. Like real talk. But I guess Toya thought, you know, her giving her box of wine was basically her giving, in, in, in essence, giving her the thousand dollars. But it's not because basically you already paid for your whole, you already have your business set up. You're getting a certain amount of wine a year. So you're really not coming out of pocket if you're already given a certain amount of wine. And on top of that, you're branding yourself on a reality show. So, girl, like you're not really giving nothing. So you're really not being a team player. Um. And then, so, and, and then piggybacking on Toya, I really be thinking she be taking her husband, Eugene, for granted. Because he a good dude. And she, like, really hard to please. Like, it's always something with her where she just be giving that man the blues, I be feeling like, to a certain extent. Like, she just never, like, I feel like be that man peace. Like, I remember watching it seasons back, and this man would work two and three shifts, 12 hour shifts, 16 hour shifts. And she would come home complaining about just minuscule type of stuff. I'm like, girl, that man, well, he working his ass off to keep you in these big million dollar houses and you complaining. Like, I guess that's who he married though. But yeah, she, when, the, when he say being married to her, that she's not easy to please. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. She, she takes that 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 man for granted um the dr jackie situation what she said about black women i think that shit was totally fake i think that shit was totally fake because dr jackie said what she said it wasn't um anybody faking a sound bite or it wasn't a rumor like you could go hear her say what she, say what she said about black women so the fact that it matter that she was going there crying to me, I think that was some BS. Um, I think that she felt bad because people kind of pulled the cover off of her. And we now see Jackie for kind of who she is. I think she's phony. I think she is more of a mean girl than the other girls that look like mean girls Um, on the surface. I think she's more of a mean girl behind behind the curtain. And it's almost like, Dr. Heavenly is her attack dog. I, that's what I think. 
Because look at what she did to Buffy. See, a couple seasons back, she told everybody at a party that Buffy was infertile. Like, who business was that? Who business was that? And then when Buffy, Buffy felt some type of way, she owed that woman an apology. She actually owed that woman a sincere apology. And when they went on a couple's trip, the way Dr. Jackie looked at her, because Buffy felt like she was owed an apology, like, basically, bitch, why you bother me? I said what I said. That that's the vibe that she got, that she gave me. And it's like, well, you said this about me. I didn't tell you to go spill my medical history to everybody about how I can't have kids. So I just think Dr. Jackie fake. I think you know she's upset because she's get, she was crying because she's getting called out. And I just think that all of that stuff about the group, you know you know, surrounding her. I just think, you know, they were they were friends. That's what they're supposed to do. But like I said, it's not like somebody faked it or it was a rumor or anything like that. Dr. Jackie actually said that. So people say, let the record show. Okay, yeah, she she's a doctor. She's good at what she do. But what about her mindset? What about her, her thought process when it comes to black women? That's what she think because she said it. Don't take that away. She said that shit. Um, and she's being judged because of it. So it is what it is. And then, you know, the fact that the group thought that Quad had something to do with it. I'm like, anything happened, y'all think Quad has something to do with it? Like, y'all give Quad a lot of credit. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure Quad was not going around thinking about, oh, how can I get Jackie? Like, why would she do that? That that's that's crazy. And then they're mad at Quad because she doesn't call. Like, I wouldn't call these helpless things that I'm trying to set you up. These is this is the kind of energy that these women have towards Quad. So why would Quad even want to call them? None of them take accountability. And, and, and also quad quad there are some moments you know i'm a quad fan but there are some moments where i be like come on quad you gotta come on miss quad miss quad you gotta you gotta take some accountability honey but i will say too when it comes to why there's so much tension between toya and quad let's just take it back when toya was in that huge was it ten thousand square foot house something like that they had her and eugene had built from the ground up she was in a neighborhood, and that's when Anila came in. That's when her and Anila became friends. Quad was not the one who started the rumors that Toya and Eugene uh, was breaking into people's houses. Quad was not the one that started the rumor that Toya was cheating on Eugene. It was Anila, and it was the other white neighbors in the neighborhood that said that about Toya. It was not Quad. Now, Quad jumped on ship when her and Toya had issues and she weaponized that against her. But Quad was not the one that started that rumor. And I can't understand for the life of me. Why Toya cool with Anila, Anila now? Anila and all them other ladies are the ones who started it, but you cool with them, but you still holding a grudge against Quad? And the reason why you still holding a grudge, a grudge against Quad because you don't like Quad. Just like Quad said, you don't like me. And I, I think I think that Toya doesn't like Quad. Because I honestly think that Toya wants Quad's life. Not that she wants to be her, but she wants to be single. She wants to be able to whatever. She wants to be able to, you know, live fancy free without the 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 husband in tow. I, I just believe that. Because that's go back to a couple of seasons. When Quad first divorced from Dr. G and she had that townhouse. So she kept, Toya kept saying, your little townhouse, your little townhouse. So Quad was like, okay, bitch, you keep saying my little townhouse. Next season, Quad bossed up. Quad bought that big ass mansion and was like, now, bitch, and what? And it was like, she just was mad at Quad for like bossing up, bossing up, bossing up. It just felt like, you know, and then, you know, Dr. Simone was like, oh, this girl thinks she's better than us. Quad never gave me I'm um, better than you vibes. What she did give me or what she has given me was I'm on my shit. I'm confident. You know what I'm saying? I'm about my business. So if you can't handle that, that's on you. 
don't don't try to come for me. And Quad has apologized to Toya so many times about this incident, but she's not taking her apology because I just think she doesn't. I, I just believe she doesn't like her. I don't. She doesn't like her. So you know, she does. She just does not like her. So it is what it is. And then it was like, you know, Dr. Simone was like going in on Quad, like screaming and hollering. It was like, damn, Dr. Simone, why are you so mad? Okay, I get it. You and Toya are close or whatever, but it seems like Toya's anger, Simone has Toya's anger and is yelling at Quad. That's what it came off. That's what it looked like and came off to me. So, in the fact, again, that they thought that she leaked that video, it's like, really? Y'all really think that low of that girl to think she really was thinking about y'all and leaked the video? Part of, I haven't. The time of her life going back and forth to Africa, I follow her. Like, she not thinking about y'all? Y'all obviously are thinking about her. It's like, every time I turn on quad this, quad that, quad on college, what's going on with quad? Y'all want to be part of that woman's life and want to know so much about that woman life and I feel like so y'all can talk shit and have something to say but she doesn't give y'all that opening to be in her life like that so it's it's like okay well she don't want to call us we're not calling her blah, 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 blah. y'all just want to be a want to just have shit to say about that girl and it's just like once Dr. G and um Quad divorced it was like Toya didn't even want her to be part of the group anyway she even said you know, she doesn't, married people shouldn't be hanging around with single people. She said that. She said that. She felt, she felt like Quad wasn't a good fit for the group anymore. Once Dr. G and her got a divorce. So it is what it is. I think a lot of them women are jealous. Heavenly, I don't really think she's jealous. I follow her. I think she likes Quad because she's good for the show. Quad is keeping them getting paid them ratings up but for the rest of them i think they some haters especially toya toya is the biggest hater on that couch pretty beautiful but she a hater 